question number 11. It is found that the probability that a product from a company can be sold is 19 over 20. So that's the probability. If a particular month, the company produces 820 units of the product, find the mean and standard deviation. Mean and standard deviation. So this one is, we can, from here we know that n is equals to 820 so there are 820 units and the probability of it being sold is 19 over 20 so what are we looking for we're looking for the mean and standard deviation so the mean is we know the formula it's not all this formula right mean is what np right and then the standard deviation standard deviation is npq and then you have to square root so np means 820 820 times 19 over 20 so your answer is 779 and then the standard deviation will be 820 times 19 over 20 so Q will be 1 minus P 1 minus P so it's 1 over 20 so you have to divide so the answer is 6.241 and this one okay so we're done with a question b there are two there are 25 students 25 students a teacher wants to choose some students from the class to join a game it is given that the number of ways of choosing r students is equal to number of ways of choosing r plus 13 students so this one is combination huh? so what they are trying to say is that we got 25 students right so n is 25 okay n is 25 so now we say they want to choose r students so ncr so 25 choose r should be equal to 25 choose r plus 13 okay so this is your equation so how are we going to solve this so this is one thing you have to know huh? Okay, let me, I show you what, what will happen. Huh? You will eventually get R plus R plus 13 equals to 25. So the question is, how did I get this? So here's one thing you have to know. I give you an example. Let's say 5 choose 0, 5 choose 1, 5 choose 2, 5 choose 3, 5 choose 4, 5 choose 5. So if you calculate this, 5 choose 0 is 1. 5 choose 1 is 5, 5 choose 2 is 10, 5 choose 3 is also 10, 5 choose 4 is 5, 5 choose 5 is 1. So what you notice is that they are, some of them are the same. The first and the last will be the same. So the first one and the last one is the same. Second and the fourth one here is the same. And uh, sorry, the fifth one. And then the third and the fourth is the same. So you notice that there is a linkage. Okay, there's a linkage. So what is the link? The link is that, let me erase this first, huh? the link is that when you use, for example, NC0, it should be the same as NCN, the last value. Reason is because these two numbers, these two numbers, 0 and the last one here, 0 plus N, should be equal to the top value here, the N, sorry, shouldn't say N ncr my friend not not ncn this ncr so when you plus these two value the zero plus r should be equals to the n value okay it's a it's a rule so for example if let's say nc1 it is equal to ncr minus one okay so the first value i mean sorry the second value nc1 is the second right because nc0 is the first so nc1 is the second should be the same as the second last value okay so when you plus these two one plus r minus one should be equals to the n value again that is the rule that you have to understand okay if you understand this then we should then we'll be able to solve this okay so from here r plus r plus 13 should be equals to the n value which is 25 okay so i'm using that this method lah. so from here 2r 
equals to 25 minus 13, you get 12. R equals to 6. So this is your answer. So you need to understand that concept, okay? When you take this plus this, should be equals to the N value, okay? Keep that in mind, huh? Now, last one, B2. The teacher decides to choose 8 students to join the game. She wants to choose equal number of boys and girls. So that means there are 4 boys and 4 girls, huh? Okay, because you want to only have 8 students. If these students are to be arranged in a row, find the number of ways such that the boys cannot be next to each other. So you got 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So they, want, they don't want them to be together. So let's say boys here. So if boys here, boys here. So you got 4 boys, okay? And then you got uh, 4 girls. Okay, so what, so this, this is how it can, we can arrange them lah, okay. So the boys, this one, two, three, four slots here, the four position there, we are going to arrange, we can mix them up, okay, so we can have four factorial there, okay. And then the girls can also be arranged accord, among themselves, so you get a, another four factorial. And not only that, you can also change place between the boys and the girls, right? So that means all the girls here now becomes the position for boys and all the boys' position now becomes the position of girls, okay? So that means you can just swap between the boys and the girls. So you just have to times 2. So 4 factorial times 4 factorial times 2, you get 1, 1, 5, 2. So these are the number of ways to arrange. Okay, so this is the answer.